This is a quick demo of the Forge fader. Last week I implemented the RVT fader, Revit fader, working inside of Revit using the built-in API functionality, analysis visualization framework, and reference intersector. Now I've implemented the exact same functionality in Forge. Basically it's all about calculating signal attenuation in a Revit model with a floor plan containing walls. And the only thing that affects the attenuation is a wall and the distance. The new Forge fader application. This is based on Philipp Leifsma's Forge React boilerplate sample and handles the same two attenuation values, expects an RVT model with a floor element to be picked. I provided two source sample models and you can load them into this app by specifying the URM of the translated file. Here are some of the implementation steps. First we had to identify the top face of a floor, then we had to add mesh to display our results on, then we had to implement the ray tracing to determine the number of walls from a picked source point to any of the destination points spread out across the floor, and then implement the custom shader to represent that grade map as a gradient. Here's a fixed gradient, simply a radial coloring, and here's the actual resulting map from picking the points. So let's run this sample. I have it here in the debugger. I'll reload, and to do so locally I need to restart the server. So I'll say npm start. This application is packed on deployment by Webpack. That means that the number of JavaScript files, which actually in the original development environment number thousands, are packed into one single file and made much more um, compact in that way. So we end up with a bundle of JavaScript files and uh, this is much more efficient than loading thousands of individual files. So as said, here's the URN of the translated model, and I specify it by calling the server at localhost on port 3000, localhost port 3000, with an argument viewer and the query uh, argument URN equals this uh, translated file URN. So this is the normal viewer and the fader is already loaded. So if I click here you can see the heat map being displayed. We also have a couple of debug settings to display um, the ray tracing rays and also the picked face coordinates and in here at this in this sample I lack a UI so I click this specific desk to turn on those ray tracing rays. Here you can see them and you can also see here in the edge the little edge and corner marker of the floor face and also when I click at a point you can see there's a point added on the floor to mark the picked point and that's where the rays originate. So let's turn that off again and then we can click anywhere we want and see how the signal is attenuated when spreading through the building to determine the optimal placement for some kind of emitter. That's about it. This is all available in the Forge Fader GitHub repository. We are working right now on putting it into Philip Leifsma's gallery of samples so that you can run it live yourself without actually installing the app.